so sorry about how bright it is. I can't seem to get the laptop at an angle to take out the, the sunlight, so I hope you can see me okay. Um, so yes, right now I'm going to talk to you about my year three, year four curriculum for um, Go Vita and Tiny Butterfly. Okay, so for, for literacy, we are going to be using... Oh, weird. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry, we're going to be using the Junior English book. Okay, this is from Galore Park. Again, I mentioned it in the last video, which is um, a company that sells books to independent schools. Um, so if it's good enough for the independent schools, it's good enough for my home school as well. So this is what we're going to be using. I really like these books, actually. If you go on their website, um, you can get a sample of the pages to see what kind of things are covered in here. I'm not sure if this book will be too easy for my two children, but I want to start off with this book first of all, and then move on to book two. Um, but I think it would be really good to recap on some of the skills first with this book first and then move on to book two um, as the year progresses. It's also got um, the Junior English Answer book as well to go with it. Maths is the same thing. You've got your Junior Maths book. This is book one for Tiny Butterfly. And I have also got, got book two. For go, Vita, um, for go Vita because he's basically um, a year ahead of her basically and it also has the accompanying answer booklet to go with it as well. They will also be doing Conquer Maths and Mathletics but I'm not sure again like I said before if I'm going to be using both of them or just choosing one. I'm not sure which one's the best one to do. Um, they will also be using the Rod and Staff books for English which focus on, focuses on the grammar. I was looking at Charlotte Mason and she basically says that you shouldn't really introduce grammar to children in until they are 10 years old so I wasn't too sure whether to pull these out again and use them but I think because we're not really following the Charlotte Mason method for English we are um, using the, the traditional method of the national curriculum I think I will still go ahead and use the grammar you know. We're going to continue with this book A Word A Day from last year because we didn't get to finish the whole book so we're going to follow on with that one. They also have the Succeed in English book, age seven to nine, which I'm going to be used, which I go, which I'm going to use as well, which has um, different tests in here for them to do to see if they've grasped a concept. And for science, we're going to be using the Exploring Creation with Human Anatomy and Physiology as well. This book, I was a bit surprised when I saw it because it, it looks quite hard. But when I looked at the contents of, um, I think it's from Cavitas, um, what your child should know in year three and year four, they do kind of follow these things in, in independent schools anyway. Some of the words seem really hard for my children. So I don't know how they're going to, I don't know what it'll be like for them, but I've seen, I've looked at the reviews and many people speak very positively about it. And it's worked for children which, who are young. The books are designed for K until, I think it's K till year grade six, which is kindergarten to grade six in America. I may be wrong. But um, I know they use it for elementary, so like um, primary school age children anyway. So yeah, I'm excited about that. You, again, it's got lots of experiments to do um, at home, which I'm looking forward to doing with them as well. They've also got a little book of manners for boys and I've got an accompanying one of a little book of manners for girls. I believe it's under my daughter's bed because she loves it. She's always talking about, you know, the different kinds of manners. And she said to me the other day, oh, mommy, I know how to answer the phone now. Like if the phone rings, I would just say, hello, how may I help you? And she's really happy about the kind of manners that is teaching her inside the book, which is really good. OK, so on the next video, I will be talking to you about the foundation subjects, things like the histories, the arts and things like that that I'll be doing as a family. So with the Charlotte Mason method, there's lots of... Um, subjects that they recommend that she recommends that you teach as a family together all at once i also looked into torah curriculum as well and a heart of wisdom and it's a very similar model of teaching the children all at the same time around the you know table together and then branching off for other subjects like the maths and the english um and things like that so yeah please stay tuned as we move on to the foundation okay, speak to you.